Crocky. They did. Oh my. It feels so bad. The Indian cow. Hello. I gotta get pee. Good morning, everybody. Today we are at Millersburg, Ohio, Amish country, the highest Amish population in the entire world, which is pretty neat. And we're staying at this tiny house right behind me. There's two tiny houses on this property, so this is a fun tour video shoot. But I'm gonna save the full tour for, of course, the tour videos, but I have to show you the bathroom of this tiny house. So both of these tiny houses are on wheels. So normally that means the tiny houses have small everything, but this bathroom is the best bathroom I've ever seen in a tiny house. You walk right in and oh my goodness, this bathroom is huge. You have your own jacuzzi tub right here, aisle everywhere, and a skylight with a waterfall above your head. This is the biggest bathroom I have ever seen and then your bed is right above it, right up these steps. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but this tiny house goes back pretty far. This is a long, tiny house on wheels. So, very excited for this tour. One of the most unique tiny houses I've ever shown on this channel. But today, we are going to be exploring the Amish country. We're going to be checking out some of the stores around here, maybe go to some antique areas and see what that's all about, and just check out the area and try out the really good Amish food. Savannah's cranking out the blog at last second. What time is it? 9.58. What time does the vlog go out? 10. <laughs> it's not because I'm lazy or slow. I had this done yesterday and the website crashed and none of it saved. That's a sad story. She's killing it though. I believe we did blogs on the top fall Airbnb destinations in our opinion. Some of them are really cool and we try to pick ones that still have dates so you can actually go book them still for fall october november they're very beautiful highly suggest going to check that out i'm ready for coffee and amish pastries i bet that's what little nuggets wanting too that's exactly what little nugget wants i know we had a big fat who slice wanted, of cheesecake last night who Didn't wanted we? cheesecake nugget no you got Owie. patawi owie owie <laughs> He heard the word cheesecake and now he's kicking. Speaking of baby, did we pick a name yet? No, it's still debating between Weston or Callum, but it seems like a lot of you guys picked Callum in the- In the vlog, <laughs> in the last vlog. In the comment section. So a lot of you guys like Callum. Some people like Weston. Very few chose Moses. I'm pretty surprised, <laughs> to say the least. He's only surprised because when we tell people around here, like our family and friends, most of them pick Weston, but I was very happy that lots of people pick Callum. I have a theory. Callum is more of a city vibe name, kind of European, in my head at least. And Weston is more country, kind of out there. So when we ask people where we're from, they choose Weston. When we ask everybody else, it's kind of like Callum. Which <laughs> That's is my theory. Which is interesting because I would consider myself more country than you. Wouldn't you? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to a coffee shop. We have to drive orangey instead of Jeep because it saves a lot more on gas. What gives? There we go. <laughs> we're going to Durbake Oven and Bakery and Cafe. Are you okay? <laughs> Do you see my hand spinning? <laughs> Durbake, Durbake. What's Dur mean? Dur means flour, pastry. Like, dur, no dur. I saw the road. Dur. No dur. No dur, bake oven. To sum up where we are located, I'm gonna insert a clip right here I took on my phone <laughs> of what we saw on the road yesterday. There's a little traffic jam. I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Pranked ya, we're not going to Dur Bank. My wife saw their menu and decided, nah! This one's not my favorite. It's spicy in the nostrils. The clearance corner. This is my type of corner. Half off, speaking my language. 
This place conveniently has coffee as well. How is this angle? <laughs> Fly or swing. Tinkerbell. <laughs> Store number one, success. We did get a little plant. What's its name? We're not good at coming up with names. His name can be. His name is Weston. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> His name. <laughs> Welcome to the world. <laughs> He stole that joke from PewDiePie. Next is the antique mall. I'm going to highlight the cool things I find in here. This is a restaurant. Oh, this is a restaurant. Huh, this antique mall only has food. Weird. I'm here for the antiques. Would you like that medium or medium well? Maybe this hmm. way. Helmet. Do I look like I belong in a safari? Yeah. Crocky! Toothpick. Extra large toothpick. Back in the day they had big teeth, so they needed something like this. I don't make history, it's just how it was. <laughs> I can't get it because my wife says our theme for our house is not rustic. So it would stand out and we'd look scary to guests if I had that hanging up on the wall. Because I wanted to hang that pickaxe on the wall. My wife said it's too scary. Savannah, should we watch this movie? The bear? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most ominous movie poster ever. It's just the bear with a giant bear in it. Has anybody ever seen this? I really like these bookends. They are very heavy. Oh my. Too close. Baby's first shoes. <laughs> Expert mode. I don't think it'd be good for him. Hand wooden carved bottle holder. We decided to stop to get some lunch at this coffee house, but they also have sandwiches and soup that I found out when I got here. And it was vegetable beef soup. Guys, this is the best soup. I've probably had it a very long time. It is so good and look at that. You just saw it. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know why I made it fall. And smoothies. This is a strawberry smoothie if you can't tell. Colorblind you might not be able to tell so that's why I said it. <laughs> so to my bewilderment. <laughs> so to my bewilderment my dad and my mother-in-law have a bet on when baby is going to come. My dad thinks after August. My mother-in-law thinks before August. The bet is a box of donuts. He's due August 14th, so when do you guys think he's going to come? The date. I'm thinking August 11th. No, I'm thinking August 9th. When do you August think? 9th? August 12th. You heard it here first, folks. So, it is 1.39 in the afternoon. We are gonna head back to the tiny house for the time being. Rest, maybe take a nap. It's about that time, it's nap hour. My wife was about to fall asleep while walking. <laughs> but she's brewing up a baby. I am brewing up a baby. How did Moses uh, make his coffee? He brewed Continue it. Continue on to East Main Street. <laughs> Made my wife laugh. <laughs> we'll clock it back in. We'll see what happens after nap or rest time and see what the hubbub is for the afternoon. She's out. Come back for me in an hour. There's a skylight up here. Keep it closed. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. We're going to the farm. What are you rubbing on my head? Mm, it's an essential oil blend for headache relief. But I also just think it wakes you up a little bit. Essential oil to get that <laughs> Kick. What animals do you think we'll see at the farm? Well, I hope we see a giraffe because there was a giraffe in the picture. Bet you weren't expecting giraffe now. This is some kind of farm. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it has exotic animals. Bad news, we make it to the farm. We figure out they only take cash. You can take a wagon ride around the farm to view all the animals, which is what we were gonna do. But the last one left at five. It's 4.40 right now. We decide to go back and get some cash. We tell the Amish lady that we are gonna to try to be back in time. We come back 
it's 4.54 and we said we'll take the wagon ride and she said it already left after she said it's gonna leave at 5. We got gypped, we got pranked, we got punked by the Amish. Okay. We did! She said it gonna be leave at 5. We get there pretty well before 5, I would say. It's not like we got there at 4.59. And we told her we were gonna be back. <laughs> we got punked hard. We're going back in the morning. It is actually the next morning, but we're gonna insert the farm clips here still, even though we couldn't get in yesterday. We are very excited. We're gonna get a wagon ride. Careful, I don't want them to spit on us. That would be great. Hello, camel. Hi. First animal of the day. Oh my, he's flatulent today. Of course, his names are Brittany and Blair. They're very flatulent. Watch out about the Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Ah! Oh my. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh gosh, this is so funny. He wants some, feed him. Oh my. Oh my. Yes. Whoa. Hello, mister. There you go. I'll give you more, sir. Here, I got some for you. I got some. There you go. This has to be the best thing in the world. Look at them. They're following the wagon. From India. That's where they store water in their little humps. Oh my gosh! In your big hump. <laughs> the Indian cow. They do be following. Hi, Willie. Wow. Oh, wow. 47? That elk is 47 years old. <laughs> this is the third largest bird in the world, species wise. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Here, I got more. <laughs> that one's oh my hello here I'll feed you oh my goodness your mouth is so little there you go you are so cute. My favorite are the llamas. You are so adorable. I'm so happy. These giraffes are huge. Me and llama, or not llama, giraffe and wife. Open up. Ah, I just got licked. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. I don't have anything for you, but you're so little. You are so little feet. You are so tiny. That house up there is very, very nice. The houses around here are incredible. Did you see that? Yeah. Dinner time. I feel like I'm waddling and it's not out of because of pregnancy, it's because of my burning thighs. Let's see if she waddles. There is a funny stance, but I don't know if it's waddling. I just got, <laughs> I just got to leave my talking to himself. And he made the funniest face, so I said, are you talking to yourself or are you okay? And he said, yeah. He said he was acting out a joke in his head. <laughs> acting out a joke in his head to see if it was funny. <laughs> My wife just called me a big loser. <laughs> okay, the joke was, since now you're all so curious, <laughs> I don't think it's that funny. <laughs> That's why I didn't say it. I'm drinking blood orange soda. 
I choose to drink this because I like to imagine it's the blood of my enemies. <laughs> now when I say it out loud, it's so dumb. I don't really have enemies, but when I do, I like to imagine this is the blood of them. Or, probably a better joke, this is a Pellegrino. Me dating a Spanish woman, more like a Pellegringo. <laughs> Uh, except she's not Spanish, but talks Spanish and lived in Spain. So technically you're Spanish. Not a citizen. Or are you a citizen? Not a citizen. Evening's coming to a close. There is a fire on the porch. Might go sit around that. Why are you carrying me? She's limping. They hurt so bad. Ah, cozy. <laughs> Oftentimes at Airbnbs, they leave conversation cards. My wife loves them. I find them, I'm indifferent. So for an example, here's a card. It reads, describe what you think my ideal vacation would be. Kind of a lame question. Some of them are good, some of them are interesting. Savannah and I are gonna ask each other some of these questions, the juicy ones, or the funny ones that we find. But these ones I thought would be better because they're the amusing edition, so I thought maybe they would be more funny. Yeah, what's funny about what's my ideal vacation? Let me just pick another one. What gives? Do your best impression of my laugh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Of you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one, make the sound of my personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I gotta go pee, I gotta go pee right now. Oh. No. That didn't take long. <laughs> okay, I thought of it. Okay, what is it? Oh, <laughs> it's <laughs> Okay, I like that one, why? It's pretty simple, and you're not like overly spastic or anything, but it's also kind of to the point, but powerful. Mine for you was, I practiced this one before I did it. It's a whistle. <whistles> kind of sweet and nice. That was really good, babe. Next question. Describe what you think I will be like at 80 years old. I think that you will be more emotional. I think you you might cry more. I think your love for pranking will be stronger than ever. Do your best impression of me when I'm really happy. When Savannah's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> then she brings it in close to you and it's all like that's what Savannah does. Those are my happy fingers. <laughs> You're supposed to do it like this. You're supposed to do it with me. Walk like me. Walk like you. <laughs> okay. Those two steps killed me. Oh, nugget. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. Here, I got a better one. <laughs> <laughs> So bad. Ah, sit down right now. <laughs> Done. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. <laughs> All right, she's gonna walk like me now. <laughs> Am I even laughing? That looks normal. <laughs> okay. You, you hit right where it hurts. You hit where it hurts. Knock over the fence. You're like this. <laughs> what? Okay. Neck out. Okay. That concludes tonight's session by the fire of conversation cards. I hope you enjoyed basically making fun of each other. <laughs> we enjoy it so much though. We laugh at each other all the time. It is time to end today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know in the comments. The comments in the last uh, video were very, very nice. Van and I read all of them, and 
You guys are so kind. I'm glad you guys like these videos and we really enjoy making them. And I can't wait for this tour to come out of these two tiny houses. They are seriously really cool. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of us in the Amish country. I'll see you in the next one.